I've been working hard. I've been hardly working? <laughs> Wait, why are those sentences wrong? Well, maybe they're not. But today we are going to take a look at those two sentences and this common mistake that I hear a lot of my English learning students make. Let's get started. Hi English learners, welcome back to class. As you know, I am Laura from laurasenglishclass.com and today we are starting a new quick series of quick corrections so that hopefully all of you English learners can start to correct some of these common grammar mistakes I see my English learning students making all of the time and start speaking a little bit more accurately. So today we are going to talk about when you can say work hard and when you should say hardly working because believe it or not these two are actually pretty much opposites. So I know the tendency is to think I need an adverb here, so I'm going to add the ly to the end. But here's the thing, hard and hardly are both already adverbs and they mean completely different things. So let's take a look at hard first. So with hard, it means that you're going to be spending a lot of energy or a lot of effort doing the verb. So hard is coming after the verb so you would see it in sentences like, I worked really hard on this project, or I studied hard for this test. Now, hardly on the other hand, hardly means you spend almost no energy or time on this verb that you're doing. So it's coming before the verb, and it's going to be something like, I hardly studied for this test, or I hardly worked on the project before the deadline. That means you didn't really do it at all. So if you say, I worked hard, that means you really did a lot of effort. I hardly worked means you're pretty lazy. So you can see it's really important to get the difference here because if you say it wrong and use the wrong one, you're actually saying the opposite of what you mean. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of a test. Okay, I'm going to say a situation and you're going to choose the response that is most appropriate to say back to me. So, for example, if I say, I'm so tired, are you going to say, you hardly slept last night or you slept hard last night? Now, in this case, I'm tired, so the sleeping was something I probably didn't really do. So, my answer would be, you hardly slept last night. All right, let's get started. There's only three questions for you. The first one, I passed my test. Are you going to say, you must have studied hard or you must have hardly studied? If you chose, you must have studied hard. Good job, that's the answer. All right, next one, I didn't get the promotion. Are you going to say, you worked hard or you hardly worked? Of course, both of those might not be very nice to say. You hardly worked is the correct answer. All right, last one. Oh, I worked so hard this week. It's finally the weekend. What should we do? Are you going to say work hard, play hard or hardly work, hardly play? Here, it's kind of an idiomatic expression. We always say work hard, play hard. All right. So that's it for today. Hopefully you passed that quick test and now it's a lot more clear to you when you should be using hard and when you should be using hardly. All right, if you have any questions about this topic, please let me know either here in the comments below or over at laurasenglishclass.com. Be sure to go over there if you want to sign up for the free video course, download some free English learning materials, or if you want to sign up for your next online English class. All right, great. As usual, if you found this video helpful, please remember to like, subscribe, and tell a friend. And otherwise, I hope you are safe and healthy, and I will see you online very soon. Bye-bye.